and welcome back to Dungeon of Nahlbok. Nahlbok? Let's find us ourselves an exit, I guess. Unfortunately, I can't. I can't close that. Okay, so this is where we were. Dwarf's carved maps are granite, heavier yes, but sturdier. Can you stop? It's over there. No, the left corner. And and I want to see those reinforced doors first. Okay, I'll be using my the double A is the. Yeah, it's not there. <gasps> you can't? Translation, please. Go over there. You should always note your escape routes on a map. I think I'm hearing some vague chanting in the distance. Yeah, I think it's too quiet. This room might be trapped. Beware. We should find some other way. I don't listen to you anymore. You're a downer and you bum me out. I just have a survival instinct. Coward! Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's with all the shit talking? Put on kissy buddies. Dang it, a trap! I told you so! You should have detected this trap! No one asked me to. What? You... Well, it's official. I'm going to ignore the thief now. Anyway, now we're asking you. Would you mind looking out for traps, please? Well, I'll see what I can do. I don't get why we're wasting our time with this guy. Neutralizing a trap is a risky endeavor, which could bring one to a gruesome end. I've got a bad feeling about this. Can he hear the narrator? A trap! It's a staple of the engine dungeon and can be very dangerous for your team. Thankfully, the thief can detect them. Deactivate trap detection move. Choose the thief as your leader. Oh. Detecting a trap is good, but disarming it is better. Once he has spotted the trap, the trick can try to disarm it. Slowly pull on the latch. Well done. That's one less trap to worry about. After successfully disarming a trap, the thief can add a bomb to the inventory. Oh, great. Because I've equipped him with healing potions already. Let's move. Oh, I have to swap again. It's a shame. It's a nice party? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Whoa, what the fuck is going on now? Welcome to the fabulous contestants of our show, The Wheel of Misfortune, hosted by our sponsor, Durandil Swords. With Durandil Swords, friend of all warlords. Fucking talking goblin. Impossible. Huh, he must be half goblin. Yeah, but what species could look at a goblin and want to have its babies? Mix violence and alcohol and bam! Anything can happen. Here we have our squinty-eyed ranger, our headstrong barbarian, voracious ogre, an almost but not quite wizard, a gawky elf, a chicken shit thief, and a dwarf. You know, just a dwarf. Welcome, dear contestants. Have a go at our wheel and discover your destiny with our sponsor, Gut Helm Helmets. With a Gut Helm helmet, you can ransack an entire kingdom. If there's loot to be made, we should trade. We'll Don't. kill them after. Come on, I'm giving this shit a spin. Wait, wait, wait. Be careful. This game could be cursed in some way. I think we should get rid of the dwarf. Great! Our friendly contestants just won 5,000 gold coins, courtesy of our sponsor, Gorzine Detergent. Gorzine, to scrub gore and beans for battles and cuisine. Epic! Yeah! And since we're not stingy, we'll throw in some healing for the entire party. Uh, I do have some split ends. Hmm, it sounds too good to be true. This won't end well, I'm sure of it. We'll take another spin! More! More gold! Again! More! Don't be afraid. Have a good, strong spin. You can never lose with our sponsor, Lorley Ann's Shampoos. That is a good shampoo. Yeah, but I'm not sure it can help us untangle this mess. 
Oh, this is going badly. Please don't not touch that again. Really? No, we're not spinning the wheel. Hopefully we can No, it I don't want to leave. I want more gold coins. Are you serious? We have to do that? <sighs> of course. But I tried to stop him. Oh no, what a stroke of bad luck. You just lost all your previous winnings. What? Did we lose everything? You're a scallion. The skin you and I give our money back! Come on, don't fret. You can decide to stop playing now or go for one last spin. But I must warn you, the consequences could be dire. It's not such a good idea to keep going. This seems to be rigged. No, just one more. I'm gonna win it. I can feel it. Good coins. They're calling to me. Calling to me! He's totally lost it. Come on! No. No, I can't move. Oh, I can move. No, no, no. I want to win a gold battle. I oh. can do it! No, you can't. Please, I'm going to go to him. Great! Our brilliant contestants win the highest prize on the Wheel of Misfortune, a formidable magic amulet. Brought to you by our sponsor, Luzax Insurance. Yippee! A magic item. That's useful. Well, that's it? Is it made of gold at least? Can we sell it? Give it to me! Whoa, 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 but you'll have to earn such a coveted prize. It comes with a challenge, a fight to the death. Courtesy of our sponsor, the Decorative Caskets Factory, Necro Rame. What? Let's run! Oh, crap. Scum. Well, I'm signing off, but let's hope to meet again soon. Now back to the studio with our sponsor, Easy Dungeon. With Easy Dungeon, you'll be home for luncheon. Great. Fantastic. Damn dwarf. You, you are standing over there. You, over here. You, right here. Oh, and you. Actually, I think I would rather have you swapped. You. But uh, you can shoot. Thief can move around. Swab is in a brookies! Ah. Mm, you can hit him. There is a chance. Yeah. Actually, I should have. Never mind, I should have used his tactic. He's gonna be a dwarf next. You can't even get that far. Defend. Yep, defend. We wait for them. <laughs> Are you speaking French? <laughs> it kind of sounds like French. <laughs> Just hit by slash ten guns. Satisfied. This is our domestic one as you lose some half points for every towel traversed during movement. Okay, instance you should move as little as possible. Luckily, he stands right there. I can just do this. <laughs> and you can wait. As for you, how far can you cast this one? Oh, really? Can I at least? Oh, I can't hit them all. Okay, hit this too. Toga! Swala! Bootwaza! Wrong invocation. What happened to him? There was one over there. What happened? <laughs> okay, you wait. You... You could hit him. <laughs> and you did. Riva stuck! I don't know, I'm gonna go for the ogre and they <laughs> Okay, this one can shoot. Luckily he's not very precise. That didn't and... hurt.
Oh, he was invisible. Death strikes down without a sound. That nearly made oh god. Enforcements. A patrol is about to get involved. When enforcements are coming, you'll see them appear on the border of the combat area one time before they arrive. Red zone indicates where they're coming from. Of course you could occupy the zone, but then they'll just position themselves right next to you. Okay. So let's try killing some of them. This one will get hit. We'll just get over here anyway, so... Take a bit of this one. You wait. He's gonna get a deck of opportunity. Which he won't. Fantastic. It was amazing. You could try hitting him. This will be his turn next. Okay, let's stand like so. And run him up. And boost! Fly away! Did you just say stop it? <laughs> okay. That, okay, I don't want you to move really. Let's heal you. Will that get rid of the status? No. Okay. So you wait. Now we should. You can nearly kill him if you could. Critical hit, please. In yeah. your face! No. No, wait. Kill this guy. <laughs> now there's a take of opportunity whenever you go. This is gonna end badly, <laughs> isn't it? Okay, let's hope. Yeah. <laughs> In your own hmm. enemy dangerousness. This enemy has red uh, shoulder plate and a special portrait. It's an elite. Elites tend to be stronger or slightly less dumb than the others. In game, an enemy dangerousness is symbolized by these skulls that appear in the description. Elites have a lot of those. Okay. We should move you over here and use defensive ore. Hold your ground! Okay, just focus on every one of them. You could get over here and slash all of them. Unfortunately, that means ah! that you get hit a lot. Ah! Yep, he heals down. Mwah! Oh no. <laughs> well. Can you get rid of him, please? Yeah! Yep, you can. Wait. Now, if you could stand right here, perfect. Zoom! That was great. Why do you have so little health? You were hit? Alright, oh, you were hit. Uh, you can move now. Oh, cool, cool, cool. That, yeah, that was his point. Unfortunately. So you have to heal him. Then in the next... I think we'll be able to heal the... our barbarian next. I hope. You know, stand over here. My turn. Oh. And that wasn't that. That wasn't so bad. Don't. 
I don't think we have to worry about that guy. For now. I could have found a pop. Okay, never mind. Just hit him. <laughs> you are not gonna... Can he shoot? Nope. Uh, you're definitely not gonna use your ricochet again. Luckily, it's on a cooldown anyway. He's gonna move, so we should in place great and play or something. We're not gonna kill him, otherwise we would just... Oh no, he was... Never mind, he will get to hit. Come on, dwarf, you have to stay alive! In your dreams! Great. Fantastic. And let's try flanking them. Oh, I can't heal him yet. Won't that hurt him? Toga! Swala! Yep, that did hit hurt him. <laughs> but who may just Oop. I just be able to finish this fight am. before he dies. <laughs> How come he didn't get a support? Alright, is this guy? Please crit. Ah. One. One! Really? One! <laughs> He's down as well. Okay, you kill this guy. Yeah. Oh, he is out. Magic not good. Well, he's the ranger leveled up. Oh, He'd rather have a nice gallon of ale. Wait, I didn't use bandage? Alright, oh, you're so hurt. Let's take all. That's Ew, the potions taste icky! Ha! We got him good! Easy. Uh, he's gone, and so is his wheel. Pernicious parsley pies! The only thing left of him is that amulet. It has the same symbol as that weird magic seal. Who gives a shit? It's made of gold. It's mine! Oh, no, 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 don't touch Wait, it. Wait, magic items can be very dangerous. Who gives a shit? Whoa, uh, I don't feel so good. <laughs> Help me! No! Can we just go? Oh, fuck me. Hey, dwarf! Get back here or you'll make the elf happy! Good riddance! We've got to get that moron back and continue on our quest. <sighs> yep, now we can... Oh, yep, I'm... Oh skill tree. On the left you'll find the character sheet. Here you can find your natural attributes, values, without equipment and raise them when you gain a level. Sure. Ability strength, yep, I know those. Secondary attribute, okay. Active are yellow, passive are blue. And description of the skills, leveling up, yep. So you have two points over here and one point over here, yes. You have very high horizon. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Let's give you some that, I guess. And one, two charisma, maybe. Yep. Now as that let's go for passive maybe. Our heavy armor. Against four court next to an elf. Uh, a real leader needs real right. skills. 
He looks at the melee range. This is Give way more useful than stuffing chairs. Going for the changes, and we're fine. Can I finally check out these doors, please? What does he mean? Maybe he needs to level up a bit. Because he failed again. Yeah. Knock harder! Knock harder! You had a guy. Oh, there's something over here. Go. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. You can wear that. You can wear that. We have. Yep, we have some I've got boots some for nuts you. for the squirrels! You have some boots over here. Let them. Let's What's in there? Helmet. Ah, my bad. And you need a bandage, a belt with stuff. Okay, those are just garbage. Explosives, maybe? I don't know. No, stay out of my pocket. It stinks. It's my boots. Pocket sand? Did I hear pocket sand? Yes. Hello, noble adventurers. Would you be interested in some magication? Hi, are you a wizard? Oh, goodness me. I, I'd never. I'm a far magician. Pirin, Tobias Pirin, at your service. Far magician? What is that exactly? I create magical medications called magications. I'm specialized in magic pharmacopoeia called far magic. Fine, but what's it for? Does it actually work or is it bullshit? For example, I have amazing preparations for people who quit drinking or to get rid of hangovers. Adventurers tend to like those. This is a rather unlikely place for a shop, isn't it? Well, it's cheap. I got this spot for peanuts. I'm currently just settling in. Come back later. I'll show you some interesting magications at very affordable rates. Huh. I thought that no one had ever entered this dungeon before. Oh, quite the contrary. It's very popular. Who told you such things? Our sponsor. Some hooded guy we met at Twisted Vale. Yeah, typical hiring procedure for a party of beginners. Uh, say, by any chance have you seen a dwarf? He's sort of dwarf-like. Why are we looking for him? We're doing fine without him. No, I didn't see him. But if he's small, he could be sneaking by right under our noses. We're also looking for the third statuette of Gradual Fulcrum. No, the statuette of Gladradulfa. I thought it was the baguette of Rapadulfra. No, that's not it. It's... Oh, wait, our sponsor wrote it down on a piece of paper. Ah, the Twelfth Statuette of Gladalfara. Never heard of it, sorry. But you should ask around at the inn. Maybe someone will know about it. <laughs> yeah, right. An inn in a dungeon? Come. An inn. Do they have ale? Some areas are open to the public. Take the stairs. You'll see for yourself. This is all a bit unnerving. Our victorious party travels forth in its quest for the statuette and their vertically challenged companion, who disappeared after taking hold of a mysterious amulet. I think that's one of the best <laughs> descriptions of a dwarf. Vertically challenged. Ah. You've got the basics now. You're free to explore dungeon on your own. You can find those tips and many others in the games. Yep, that's tips and encyclopedia. Cool, 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 cool. That's a lift. I don't want to use that just yet. I want to walk around a bit. It's closed. Okay, I get it. It is closed. Oh, so this is your shop. Let's see. I don't... We can't even chat. Bandage, first aid, keep. Ice bombs, improve bandage. Oh, hey, I like that. And we can sell you some of that. Yep. Yes. I think we'll be fine for now with all of that. With what we have. And I'm Grab the need a map. Go over there. But we haven't. Uh, what does the guard do? This is a whole new arena, but. Let's go back for a second. Is there still that one place I haven't visited? I'm really curious if we can go over that or not. If I'm correct, it was somehow... Uh, yeah, this is open. And it was... Uh, anyway. Mm -hmm, yeah, nope. 
it was somewhere around here. Okay, he's very slow when he's the thing leader. Okay, I guess we'll have to get back here later. First, let's do this. Basic spells for basic wizards. Great. Oh, there's something more here. Improved bandage. Two more health potions and and. Ooh, I like that. But where is that? Really? Where is that? Oh, over here. I'll supervise the opening. Hmm. Okay, now we can go look for the wolf. Actually, we'll look for him in a second. I want her to learn that. Read. Must dispel drunkness. Excessive consumption of alcohol can modify any hero's characteristics. Must dispel drunkness freshens up a party spirit instantaneously in such circumstances. However, it cannot do anything about the headache, nausea, or stomach ache. Drinking is not consequ consequence free, man. No bracelets for you. Oh, and that's. Wait. Not ring. It will give you some intelligence boost. I guess you like. There's something with you. Sometimes go walking with WAs, he just doesn't work. Suppose a couple of times. And I'm trying to use tab for opening up map. Well, I like way too much. That affects everything. Wait, don't you see anything here? Oh. But there might be something behind the fireplace. <sighs> I don't know that. Oh, there's another door to open. Barracks? Hmm, looks like it. And again, I can't move. With some luck, we might find something magic in there. Ooh, look at here. Nahe the poster. Let's see, why do we have it? Why? A poster featuring with the heroes of a fan fiction. It's about a party of dungeon employees who vanquish a group of bloodthirsty adventurers. No dice, and they even get the Employees of the Move Award. Oh. The scholars of the land of Funk believe that orcs were created for what was considered a love during the era of chaos. It is said that Korntov, god of violence, pranked Slanush, god of secrets, who had just come up with humans. He took one of those, squashed his face, pulled on his ears, grilled him over lava and threw him in a cursed bog. Then he slapped him back to life. The first orc was born. And I think this is how we're gonna end this part. <laughs> so for now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye!